Hello. Hi. <laughs> oh, I was about to say, um, oh. <laughs> hi, Cheese. What's happening? Oh, I thought you was, I hope he wasn't frozen. <laughs> I don't know uh -oh. what happened. Uh oh, I don't know. Are we are we, are we good? I see the blink. There's good. a glare in the back that I'm trying to get rid of, that I can't seem to get rid of. Because you got that death row chain on. I got that what on? Got that death row chain. <laughs> I wasn't even talking about that dumb dumb. <laughs> it's cute that you called it that because somebody else called it that too. That was funny. Um, but how are you guys doing? It's another Wednesday. It's Wednesday, even though seat is on the screen. It's not Thursday. It's, it's I, Wednesday. I know. I had a good day, y'all. That's what's up. That's about your day. Tell us. First, you can. Oh, so um, my kid's father had texted me and asked me what's home. And I was a little nervous because yeah, I don't, I don't trust them. I don't like nobody asking if I'm home. Yeah. So I did <laughs> I did come outside um, and I got a basket just because it had wine, a gift card. And uh, um, a teddy bear and a gift certificate to get a massage. Oh, sure. oh, and it was just because, just just because I'm a I'm an excellent person. Um, so yeah, that excellent. Was, you deserve it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I appreciated it a lot. So shout out to him for that. That 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 set the tone for my day. And then I got some good news. Um, outside of that, but I'll tell B later. <laughs> not, no. mm -hmm. not gonna tell me later. What if I want to know later? That's what we doing. I can tell. I, I I can tell you later. I don't think you'll you'll care, but I'll tell you later. Let me be the judge of it. Okay. All right. mm -hmm. B. How was you? <laughs> My day was wonderful. Um, I did absolutely nothing. <laughs> I slept up until two hours before the show. Mm. Um, so yeah, nothing. I did nothing. Be is lucky. Be is lucky because normally I call her around 8 30, 9 o'clock in the morning. Not today. She didn't thank God for that. <laughs> <laughs> I was really asleep. How about this though? You know what? Okay, so full disclosure. I was coming from a man house. So I had stopped at the market because I was craving cookie crisp for some reason. So I get to the market. I give me some cookie crisp and honeycomb. Why don't I spend $13 on cereal? Somebody need to do something. I, I didn't know. I, like, I'm not a cereal person. I don't eat it all the time. But when I want it, I want it. And it was $13 fucking dollars for two boxes of cereal. Yeah, it's oh. been like for a hot minute. Mm -mm. That's kind of expensive. I usually go for the ones that's on sale. I know one thing. This is a tad bit cheaper at Walmart. Stop right, better start checking my receipt when I leave, or I'm gonna start stealing. I don't <laughs> never let people check my receipt when I leave. I feel like that's a stupid Always. ass job. Why? It says Mr. <laughs> keep the time to be alive. I do keep this, but I feel like um, that is a nuisance. First of all, the fact of the matter is, are you really going to go through my cart and my bags to check my receipt item per item? No. Like, what you you just go look at the receipt and tell me to go anyway. So, what's the point? I'm going to tell you why they check it. So, I had a few cousins back in the day who would, like, take an old receipt or something that they bought and go into Walmart and get the one item like a TV or pool or bike or whatever and just walk out because they only looked they they didn't look at the receipt that much. But that's what I'm saying. That's stupid. Like even if I did, what you gonna say? Um what do you you can't really confront nobody anyway. Like so <laughs> they got the they got the walk talkie they got loss prevention. They can uh, stop you. 
Oh God, I forgot I'm on the screen with two Libras. At the end of the day, I feel like it's a stupid profession. I feel like you you sitting here looking at my seat, my my seat, my receipt item for item. Um, you didn't pay for this. Or like, bitch, now I got to fumble through my bag to look for my receipt for you to look at my like, come on. I ain't got that kind of time. I don't like them. Now you really supposed to do it because I actually had to do I had to do it before. Um you're supposed to check for the items that aren't in the bag. You know what I mean? Like if they got bags and a bunch of loose shit on the side, you kind of just supposed to look for that. Otherwise, motherfuckers just throw blue shit in there after they got their shit bagged up. Otherwise, motherfuckers would just walk right past them. I walk right past them, and I did somebody say, "Um, excuse me, ma'am." I, I oh, I'm a <laughs> hundreds. I excuse me, ma'am, hundreds. <laughs> you gonna chase me down to check my receipt? <laughs> I caught a bitch. Bus. I caught a bitch on a six bus before. Real shit. Working loss prevention at Brothers the Co Factory. She ran across the street to that little terminal. I ran right after. She had all this fucking baby shit that she was selling. I was like, "You're going she to jail." It. I don't care. Jail. That's crazy. <laughs> your your ass. Your ass is something else. You'd have been a I, dickhead for chasing me. You fucking dickhead. Uh, <laughs> <I was> like, <laughs> but anywho, uh, hopefully Taj will be joining us at some point tonight. You never know. But uh, until then, I am Mr. Cheese, and Blondie is. Oh, I'm Blondie. <laughs> I am Bianca Monroe, aka Miss Monroe. If you're nasty, and down there is the one that looks so excited to be here. <laughs> it's King Cita. I, I'm tired, y'all. Y'all know I'll be up at six in the morning. I don't understand why. Well, I take. I my, really don't. I take my kids to school. Oh. Well, okay. I guess that that's why. Um, okay, well, in the meantime, we might as well get this out the way. Um, please like and follow the whole entertainment Facebook page and subscribe to our YouTube page and also follow the whole ENT on IG. We are live there also. Um, the only thing is sometimes we don't see your comments in real time. So you just should just um go over to YouTube. That's all I was saying. Just do that. And there's a question. Um, if you guys aren't Following this page, I don't understand why um, the whole entertainment. What, what, what is going on? <laughs> why is she throwing a cat? I, I don't, I, I don't it's like that really right now. It's really disturbing. <laughs> that was really like disruptive. Um, please join the whole. The Rabbit Hole 13 Facebook group. Now, it is a private group. However, if you send us a request, no worries. We will happily accept you. Then you'll be privy to hilarious content to get you throughout your day and inappropriate things if that's what you like. If you are watching this stream live, we do ask that you like, comment, and share. Tag a friend. Bring a friend. If you enjoy the stream, I'm pretty sure you may know some others. So share the wealth. Um... And also, some people may come up as Facebook user, but if you go over to StreamYard.com slash Facebook, grant permissions, uh, we'll be able to shout you out by name, or you can put your name behind the comment. We like to show love to people that show us love. So either way, if you like to be anonymous, that's your business too. Um, comments has been buzzing right now. Let's see who the first comment of the night is. Brandy with the hey, y'all. Hey, Brandy. What's that, man? Titties in the back, Brandy. And we... Oh, titties! In the I ain't even filled my glass up yet. <laughs> I'm late, but I, I got I owe y'all a sip. Um, Lashia's in the building. She said, "Hey, Miss Jaws, Lashia with Think Different TV. Make sure you guys follow her and check out her podcast. It's live every Monday night." Um, Randy said, "Y'all look cute, cute and cheese. You look like yourself." <laughs> <laughs> I got a lover. But she is saying, oh, geez, I don't want to be left out. Keish pulled up, my good sis. Keish pulled up in the comments with the, hey, y'all. Hey, Keish. Hey. Um, okay. But she is saying, yes, these prices are crazy. Facts. $13 for two boxes of cereal is insane. <laughs> I told you I got a uh, cookie crisp and honeycomb. Um. And yo, like I yeah. went, to, you know, when I went to the store today, 10 minutes later. So, what did you do today? <laughs> you're talking, you're talking, 
Cheese is so uninterested. You already know that. Brandy said, B, you got to download the store coupons, LOL. See, I'm only like a half adult because I don't have kids. So I don't be knowing about downloading store coupons. Welcome. Look, I download them all, okay? I don't be knowing nothing about it. But I'm going to check it out. Thanks for the tip. Um, Keisha, they check for the date and the item that are not bagged. Fuck them people. Um, Mo said, hey, guys, happy hump day. <laughs> First, first last pulled up and it's waving per usual. Brandy said, "Not you leaving your post for your, wait, not not you leaving your post for your baby item. <laughs> the baby was, item. She, you should have let her have it. You, she obviously needed it. That's something that was needed. That was my first like security job. I was like 22. I had my little shirt and tie on and shit. I ran across the street in hard bottoms. She was not getting away from me. I took it personal because you could have went through the mall door." You know what I'm saying? That's, that means you thought I was sweet. You chose my door. Nah, man. And all I'm going to say is that's karma. And that's why that shoe. <laughs> that's why that shoe looks like that. <laughs> the fact that you had it on cue is hilarious. <laughs> oh, no, I am never erasing this. <laughs> the fact that it is living rent free. <laughs> On B's oh, memory, <laughs> it is living rent free, and B's storage on her on her um laptop is h- insanely hilarious. That's <laughs> wild. That joke won't last forever. <laughs> that shit will be funny because you didn't let like- a single mom get her baby items. That's what God did to you and your heart bottoms. Ah, uh, fuck that little bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Most said cheese was the feds back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> Not the feds. What up? I pulled up with what's up, y'all. Can I live? Said what's up, gang. Welcome back, King. He also said that cat looked dead. I don't even know where the fuck the cat came from, <laughs> but it was very disruptive to me. That's all I can say. Um, he also said Burlington cat killer. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wow. Yeah, y'all, wow. The live, I swear. Big Rob said, make sure cat don't give you no skeety paps, brother. Skibbity paps. <laughs> oh, skeety paps. Okay. <laughs> All right. Keisha's laughing. And can I live? Said, that's you is screaming feet. <laughs> that shoe will forever, ever be hilarious. Thank you, Cheese, for sharing your trauma for us to laugh at. I try. <laughs> <laughs> I try. Did you um don't you don't you got something to do tomorrow? Oh yeah, and I forgot and I was about to say that, but I don't remember how we got distracted. But anyway, yes, tomorrow night <laughs> will be hosted by me, myself, and Bianca Monroe and King Cedar. Foreplay will be live tomorrow night at 9 p.m. We will be live on all of those pages that I gave you the information to. Um, so make sure you guys are following following us because that's something you don't want to miss. Also, um, yeah, cheese and Taj <laughs> will be live at Big Rose Comedy Night on um the 24th, Sunday. This Sunday, right? That's this Sunday coming up. Um, yeah. it's our 15 dollars. I'm not sure how much it is at the door, but you should hit up Big Roll. Oh, he's the headliner. Okay, I'm reading it now. Top Flight is the host, and they are the special guests. Taj Mahal and Mr. Cheese, they will be in the building live. I think I'll be there. Um, So, yeah, pull up on them. Um, That was it, right? Oh, no, sorry, and I got to fill my glass. Um, For the, well, it's not the first official titties in the back, but the titties in the back. Anytime we yell titties in the back, you want to take a sip or a puff or whatever it is that you're drinking and or smoking. That way you'll be fucked up by the end of the night, just like we typically are. And plus, the show was more fun when it goes off the roads a little bit. What you I, got? Um, it's it's wine. I just okay. I was wasn't front fronting with a banana milkshake and a checkers cup. Uh, it's it. Chick Fil A, but okay. <laughs> oh, it's, it's red wine in here. Mm-hmm. Y'all know the milkshake machine never work at checkers. Is not even a thing no more. I'm all them joints shut down. I don't like the way to sell. Um, I promise y'all this is my wine coming out. <laughs> and um, if I'm gonna do a milkshake, it's only gonna be cold stone. I'm just saying. Yeah, you know she bougie. You bougie you milkshake bougie. Yeah. 
much so. You know Who what? got the best milkshakes? I never had a milkshake from Cold Stone. Best. I can't not, ever, not to get ice cream. 50-50s is good. 50 has nothing on Cold Stone. That stuff is like, ugh. That's not true. It no, is. I like a, a nifty 50 milkshake. Not yeah. if you had a Cold Stone milkshake. That's a good time. You know what? I saw that could be the first topic. It said, um, essentially, it said, learn learn your woman or learn women. Basically, they, they, they have areas in their life in which they're bougie. Learn what areas in their life in which they are bougie. What areas in your life outside of you with your milkshakes are you two ladies bougie? Um, I am very bougie with my car, uh, my phone, well, gadgets in general. <laughs> <laughs> um, my house, like different things that I buy, like um, my toiletries. You know, I just won't um, like skincare, anything that takes care of my body, anything that, you know, I put on my body and things like that. I'm just not, not willing <laughs> to cut this on that. Um, I, oh, my bed, like I don't, sheets, pillows, those kind of things. I, I'm just bougie all the way around. It ain't no way to. It's no area. It's just my life. That's just my lifestyle. <laughs> um, I'm bougie all the way around. I'm gonna just say. I, I don't like to admit it, but I've been told a time or two how bougie I am. Um, food. Don't play about my food. I will travel and I will spend money for good food. Um, what else? Toiletries, sheets. I am definitely a, a sheet snob. Um, uh, perfume. Perfume, yeah. Cleaning products. I'm bougie with my cleaning products. I don't. I don't really typically like no name cleaning products. Um, my sneakers. I'm bougie about. My sneakers. <laughs> I'm close. not so much. Um, but my my footwear most definitely. I'm bougie about my footwear. Um, what else am I bougie about? My hair. I don't do cheap wigs. I don't trust bitches that wear cheap wigs. Sorry. Shout out to y'all, but I just don't. Not my thing. Um, what else? I don't know. I can't think. Uh, <laughs> it's a lot of things that I'm bougie about, but. You bougie about your liquor? Yes. Very <laughs> much so. Very much so. I only drink Henny. I don't drink nothing else but Henny. And it's not and it it's it's not really me being bougie, but I realize that Henny doesn't bother me like some liquors. Like if I I can drink honey all night and wake up and be fine. Other liquors are mm -mm, I'll be hungover, tore down. Don't if it's not what I drink, I don't drink it. You, you, so, you enjoy, huh? Enjoy my do. Yeah, I did enjoy it. Like, but had you not made me drink that, I would not have drunk it. <laughs> <laughs> if that was a good time, like that was when the honey shortage happened. You know, around co co uh, COVID and all of that. Yeah, that COVID. was my go-to. COVID was a good time. Um, y'all, you know, obviously, y'all way more bougie than I am. I'm, I'm, I'm bougie about my water to a degree, though, because I do that bowling basket at Shoprite. That bowling basket, it, it came. Through it comes through in a clutch. It comes mm -hmm. through, but you know, I ain't doing no spit it over. None of that shit. It's definitely sock bougie. Um, and I, I'm. Oh yeah. I'm definitely cologne bougie. Like somebody gave me some cologne and I, I looked it up and it was ten dollars. I was like, no, <laughs> absolutely not. I will not put that on my skin. Mm. Yeah, that you know, like, I swear, like, oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead, my bad. Finish. The uh, last thing was like, uh, like self cleanliness. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm, I'm getting my man wipes. I ain't leaving no little cotton balls in my ass. I ain't with that shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> cleanliness. I'm happy you on that. But you know what? I would I would stop talking to a guy and I did stop talking to a guy because he had Queen Helen lotion. You know what I'm talking about? Who's she? You know what Queen Helen who know I know <laughs> <laughs> that it's like next to Razak. You should know what Razak is. I don't know lotion names outside of like Luberderm and 
Okay, well, if you know those names, you never you definitely don't want to meet Queen Helen. Queen Helen is the worst body lotion known to man. Like <laughs> that dollar store cocoa butter that yes, butter. that with the brown top. Yes. Yeah. That's Queen mm -hmm. Helen. That's Queen Helen. Oh. No. I'm not like bougie it. with that. Like, I don't use um, I don't use Jergens, I don't use Lubriderm, I don't use Nivea. I don't really I you know what I do like and I do enjoy like body oils like and body butters. Like I'm more of that kind of person. Mm -hmm. I like me some jergens. Cherry almond scent is my this the jet is for me. Make your mm -hmm. private. Huh? It makes your private part sting a little bit. Um jergens, almond, cherry almond. I don't even want to know how you know that information. So we're just gonna keep the show going. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, go. Go that one. I, don't know, I left the house with my hands still ashy, and I'm like, you could have used some of that. <laughs> you rubbed it in, nigga. <laughs> this I had a lighter. Where did it go? You know, you know. If you know, you know. It's like one of these things. Like, oh yeah, that's a good one. Mm -hmm. That's good. But I like me a good Jergens. I love me Jergens. Jergens is very like me. I like heavy, creamy lotion. Pause. But <laughs> Where is Todd? Where is Todd? <laughs> I am, I am. I like me some creamy, heavy, heavy lotion. Mm -hmm. Um, if it's if it works, it works. and I even came back to a uh, baby lotion sometimes. And I'm even bougie with that. I only want baby magic. Do not that's the only one I use. I don't use Johnson not and Johnson. Not Johnson. No Johnson and Johnson. <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> Let's see what happens in the comments. What are y'all bougie about? I don't, I don't know. Um, let me see. So, E. Mesmerized pulled up and said, Hey, y'all. Hey. Um, Brandy said, Cheese thought he had Stacey Adams, but stepped out <laughs> and Stacey Abrams. Abrams. Oh, no. <laughs> Not Stacey Abrams. That's a good one, though. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> sorry, cheese, but that's funny. Um, most said I'm drinking water tonight. Uh, she got to be up at 4:45 in the morning. Yeah, drink your water. We appreciate now, you being up with us right now because I'd be sleep if I was you. Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. Sleep is sleep is wonderful. Brandy said Checkers is opening back up. The one up northeast open, and the one in north. Hmm. Hmm. Checkers apps on her phone and shit. All right. <laughs> <laughs> They did, I did hear a rumor that they were opening back up. And I think it is one like close to like um like uh what's that? Like where Gary Barbera is at, like up that way. Mm, that okay. It used about, to be, that's the one that used to be there, right? Mm -hmm. well, well, I think she, the one that's open that she said the northeast is open. At Welsh in the Boulevard. No, that's too far up. Come back down. Gary Barbera. Oh, Gary Barbera is by uh where that Boston Market and shit is at. Bustle time. Oh, well, she has a question. It's farther up. All right. That kind of that will go right into your question real quick. But let me go through these comments. Um, Jerry is cheers in. Hey, Jerry. Um, um Randy said hen dog been taking shots at Henny since 5 p.m. Oh, my type uh, of party. All right. Hey, <laughs> and I'm, I'm the recipient of it. Thank you. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> Most said I'm bougie with my body butters and oils, toiletries, and some food. She also said, not the Queen Helen cocoa butter. Yes. <laughs> that is the they just need to burn it. Like I would I'm sorry. That not... and raise it. Put that in the next to raise it. Thanks. <laughs> it stinks, it's runny. It doesn't even help your ash. Like, I don't understand. It just get why it just if anything, it makes you ashier, especially raise it. Oh my god, like yeah. You ever had somebody offer you lotion and you be like, I don't use that. I have can I live said queen lotion is nana <laughs> <laughs> Brandy's <laughs> oh, 
Stephanie said, runny ass cocoa lotion. She also said, I love Jergens. Cherry almond is her favorite too. It can't go wrong with that. It brings back memories. It reminds me of my childhood. Big Rob said, the Queen Helen cocoa butter was good to me for the tattoo. But other than that, I've never really used it. Throw it away. If you have it, <laughs> if you have it in your house, throw that away right now. Facebook user, hey guys, where's Taj? Is Net? Um, what's up? What's up? Net. You already know that's Carmen San Diego. We uh, we don't know. Hold <laughs> on, we hope he make it. But we yeah, he's gonna be a little late, so hopefully he'll be here. Um, Mo said I took a great nap earlier, so um, just so I can be in attendance tonight. That's why she is. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. She also said Oxford Circle Checkers. Um, is that? I don't think they open. Mm -mm. No. And she also said, I remember Razak, my best friend, used to wear and mix it with Vaseline, and that was her go-to, LOL. That's creative. <laughs> that I sometimes mix my own um, baby oil with my lotion. Yeah, you mix your baby oil yeah. with your lotion. You get a nice lotion. No, I, don't, I don't know about uh, Vaseline. <laughs> I've heard yeah. that. If you spray like you put like Vaseline on your and then spray your perfume, it lasts all day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what's up. But, so, uh, the, uh, I'm sorry. You had, you wanted to go? Go ahead. Yeah, I wanted to ask you a question. Oh, yeah. Okay, because we were just talking about the checkers in different spots of the city. How do you? What was it? How do you know? Or how can you tell that somebody is from Philly? What was your question? I'm sorry. Um, how do you test somebody to see if they're from Philly? Like. If you if somebody said they from Philly and you want to test them, what would you ask them? Where is Zombie Land? <laughs> <laughs> Where is the Walking Dead? A and A. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't always like that though. That's crazy. Right. But now it's it's definitely the Walking Dead out there. Um what was the neighborhood before Fishtown? What was the name of that? Oh shit! Or brewery I'm... town? What's it called now? Fishtown Brewery Town? Or that two different towns? All these towns, like. <laughs> Are you from Philly? <laughs> <laughs> Philly on goddamn tests. <laughs> Before gentrification, oh. let's talk about that. Mm. I don't know. I don't feel like I don't have no Philly questions. I where you, where where do you go to get a cheesesteak from? How about that? Yes, that's, that's a typical question. No, it's not. If they say Geno's or Pats, we already know they bullshit. Oh, yeah, they ain't, they ain't from Philly. Or um, the candy lady, did she try to give you something? Uh, <laughs> Who's the candy lady and did she try to give you something? <laughs> or how about the Cadillac that rides around with everything on it? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I or think in the Southwest, they got everything and there it's mother and it literally changes seasons. I've never caught that person. I used to live around the corner from them too. I've never caught that person switching out the Christmas stuff with the Valentine's Day stuff. I've never caught that. Like, <laughs> where's the house on the boulevard with the security door that ain't securing shit? <laughs> <laughs> it's just past the nothing. <laughs> Yo, really? <laughs> Think about think about what you said though. <laughs> I'm gonna fuck around and be a part of a documentary like six years from now with all the candy lady victims speaking out. <laughs> you bought candy off of her? Oh man, she kept trying to give me a lap dance. But I'm like, yo, cool out. Like by I'm balancing a box of candy. She's talented. The first time I saw her was on the train and she came in selling her candy, but then she like leaned into me and like put her hand on my thigh and asked me if I wanted candy. I was like, this is. I was warned about shit like this as a kid. Like, come on, man. What the fuck is going on? And then I see comedy John. I was doing the show and shit. She trying to fucking give me a lap dance. I'm like, there's so many people in here. Why are you fucking with me, lady? And then I <laughs> she doing it with everybody. I'm like, yo, we're gonna be on a documentary. Wait till the wait till surviving she... the candy lady. Real shit. Hell yeah. Mm. That's gonna be wild. I'm trying to think what else. Where's J Street at? J Street. Yeah, you don't know. Damn, kisses I don't know about J Street. Might be before my time. Nigga, you ain't that. All right. <laughs> I don't know about J Street. What you want me to say? <laughs> Literally the J Street, but I don't know. Like, I know niggas, about Pike. That's what niggas What's that? Oh, your girl is that? Oh, your girl and Pike. 
What is that? <laughs> I know about that. <laughs> like, I know about that. What's happening over there? I'm oh, glad you, you don't. Like I'm about to put you on the strip. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad you don't. The stroll. You don't know about the stroll. Is that's what's that's like? What Hunter Park and Pike? Ain't it? Yeah. Where the be? Where the nigga bitches be? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yo, I went to um it was after hour, like you know where that Sunoco is? Mm -hmm. after, it's one fifty one or I don't know what the fuck. Oh about. yeah, that one. I know which one you're talking about. Right there yeah. on Broad Street. Yeah, we was in there one night and two of my bulls was talking to these chicks. And <laughs> Not air quotes. I'm just sipping and I just happened to look. I remember looking at their wrist and their hands. I was like, oh, Yo, so I'm trying to get their attention without these nigga bitches getting mad at me and shit, but they kind of picked up on it and start fucking like chirping a little bit. I was like, oh shit, it's about to get crazy in here. <laughs> like, just these niggas' hands was big as shit. <laughs> yeah, they had to fight. My thing oh. is, what happens if you fight and you lose? I can't lose. I can't <laughs> lose. If they knock you out and fuck you. They knock you out and fuck you, you done. No. Nah. Titties in the back. Titties in the back. <laughs> Not, uh, no, 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 not tonight. On your, on your way down, you hear, open his butt. <laughs> then he's in the back again. <laughs> I try to stop him, and he just never picks it up. Like, no, mm. no, not my butt. Because <laughs> <laughs> you imagine somebody like telling somebody what happened. <laughs> the last words I heard him say was no, not my <laughs> Y'all are both um we go into the comments. I'm not doing this. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't even know where to go. Uh, <laughs> Brandy said, ask them where the best water ice, Fred's. <sighs> That's my opinion. Fred's has the best water ice, the best passion fruit. What ice? And that's all I get is passion fruit. I'm say transilias. Um, transilias. Transilias. Don't do uptown like that. Transilias. Ain't it transilias? Is that what it is? Yeah, yes. And they sell Freds. Oh, okay. I don't know. I only so been there one. Freds. I just went to Freds and got me a passion fruit with a, a cheese pretzel. Oh, so good. Oh, delicious. That's a <laughs> delicious. good time. It is. Can I live at X location of Club McDonald's? Was that Broad and Gerard? No. Broad and Diamond. Broad oh, Diamond. Okay, I was close. No. <laughs> I was close. I was close. Broad and Diamond? That was the club one? I thought it was Gerard. No, nah, that's what um, everybody used to go. That was the after hour, basically. Everybody used to go in the um, parking lot and shit and shut at McDonald's. Oh, I know how to tell somebody to pronounce Kasha Hawkins. Right. People that ain't from Philly or from they cannot pronounce Kasha. <laughs> How you say that? They cannot say Kasha Hawkins. That's like saying Wushai sauce. I don't say that either. But that's kind of like saying that. People cannot Worc pronounce Kasha Hawkins. Worcestershire. That's not right. What is it then? Not that. It's Worcestershire sauce. It's it's good in um it's good in your beef if you want to put it on your steak and stuff. It's good. Recommendations. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I know that ain't how you say it. That's what nobody can say that word. Is nobody that can ever say Worcestershire. that word. It is Worcestershire. Or if you no, want to extra fancy Worcestershire. Yeah, you don't pronounce every fucking letter in that word, and that's still not how you say it. You don't know how to say it. How you I know how I know it when I hear it. I just don't know how to say it. I promise the you. lady on Baltimore Ave with the decorations. Yes, that's the lady I'm talking about in Southwest. Yes. <laughs> Ask them where the Gucci house is. Yeah, because me and Cheese was about to go in a whole world war. <laughs> Over which this word. <laughs> um, Mo said, surviving the candy lady. LOL. Big roll pulled up with well, what up, family. Make sure you guys check them out um, Sunday night on the 24th uh, at, what is that? 435 Spring Garden Street live show. Hit them up for tickets. Uh, uh, yeah, make sure you guys do that. Mo said Jefferson is 17th. Randy okay. said <laughs> two of his bulls. No, that was you and your homie. We not judging. <laughs> you know what? I would have said that too. I'd have been like, this nigga try to leave himself out of it. So I get <laughs> 
Keep going with that. I don't holler at uh, after our bitches though. They all scary. <laughs> oh yeah, where the gallery at and Franklin Mills, yeah. It's now uh, Philadelphia Mills and the Fashion District. Is it the Fashion District? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I haven't been since they did change it to the Fashion District. I've been. It ain't it ain't nothing. It ain't mm-hmm. shit. I don't go downtown for shit. So I ain't been like and I've been but, downtown. I just haven't been there. I'm downtown all the time. And you know what I realized my one of my superpowers is? I can tell when somebody gonna smell like piss from like a block away. Like soon as they get close to me, I just instinctively hold my fucking breath. Like as soon as <laughs> cause that's the one place you can walk by somebody that got bread and then walk by somebody that's a, you know what I mean, homeless. It's like I could just like you you gonna smell like piss. And I just instinctively just hold my fucking breath. That's crazy. I don't I hope I'm never on that side of the coin. I go downtown, I want a fruit salad and a sausage from the scene. Every time I go down there. Yeah, you gotta get a dirty hot sausage. Pause. But you got to, like <laughs> I get to your dirty hot sausage from time to time when I it's a good time. Um, Big Rob said if y'all didn't know about Brewery Town, it's the whole area like Cecil B. Moore and Poplar, 2500 block to 3300 block, all that area. Well, thank you for that ge- ge- geography. Mm-hmm. Right? Geography. Okay, yeah, cool. I'm gonna stay uptown with it. <laughs> uh, yeah. It's, why yeah. do they call, I said this before, but why do they call City Line, why do they call it City A? Why do they call it City Line A? I don't know. That's a good question. It's called, wait, what is it called? Everybody city says, Ave. everybody says City Line A, but if you look at the sign, it just says City A. Just like it's Hunting Park, but we say, what we say? <laughs> Hunting in Park. Because mm-hmm. as really say. Soy sauce is just, and we say soy sauce. We don't question it. Like it is. It's the ex, this, that's our. That's how you know, though. When you got that Philly accent, that's how you know. Like we put words and shit that don't need it. We shorten but, shit that ain't right. But fucking up a word is one thing. We we elongated it. Pause. We, we added a whole other word to it. No, and who started it? Right. I'm going up city edge. I'm going up city line. No, I'm going up city line. <laughs> it's a whole line though it's a whole line like it's a little strip it's well, a long ass strip but it's a strip mm-hmm. i'm up city line you're like oh all right that's great yeah. city line oh. you know exactly where i'm at city line 54th and city line that's another one if you say city line and they can't find it because they on city ad they ain't from philly yeah, it is Brandy said it's good in your beef <laughs> <laughs> Good at your beef. Oh. Big Rob said, if they know Club McDonald's, they from Philly. Brandy said, I work downtown. I never go to the gallery. Um, Mo said she ain't been to the gallery in years. Brandy said, City Ave turns into Country Line Road, so they just merged them. City Line. There's your, there's your answer. Thank you, Brandy. Okay. Fuck you, Brandy. <laughs> and can <laughs> I just say, it's the line before you're out of the city. One side is Philly, the other side is Lower Marion. Yeah, I don't know if I'm satisfied, but I'll take that. Um, you're never satisfied. I want to give a shout out to Monique Pat for uh sending me a video. She she knows my heart. There's a few things that I, I love and I care about in this world the Eagles, my children, socks, that order. But what I really, really love and what really warms my heart can you get this video up? Sure it's thing. Big. White kids get hurt. All it's right, here it is. More. Slow down. Oh.
watch the last one. <laughs> That's just... the first one. First of all, the fact that the Eagles come before your kids. But... <laughs> they know. Anywho. I no, I, white, black, Puerto Rican, Haitian. All I don't, I don't want to see no babies get hurt. Not the babies. No, the first baby. <laughs> yeah, not the babies. Not the, the babies. first baby set the tone of the whole video. That first baby was, was like, <laughs> like, like nothing. It did nothing to even try to break it, attempt it. <laughs> that first baby. Ooh, that first about- baby need facial reconstruction surgery. That baby. <laughs> 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 Tell me you don't want that little girl in the market to fall. I'm, I to I'm fall. not mad at that because as someone who worked in, in retail, walk. <laughs> walk. Yo. Hey, yo. I'm, them fucking Heelys was a, I, yes, every kid that had them, I wanted to fall. Oh, shit. Yo, I would see grown ups. Like, not even like damn near like 20. Motherfuckers is nah, you too old for them, man. Cool out. Not the, not the first. No, the first one. The first one was the first one. <laughs> the first- uh, play it again. Play just the first part. I can't watch it. That, that, that hurt my heart. This is facial reconstruction. Look at this. Watch. No, you gotta watch it. Watch it. <laughs> that is noise. That is- I- the noise is cringy. I cannot watch the babies be hurt. <laughs> I don't know what's worse, the hit or the noise. I don't know. Oh my God. That is so crazy. And not the fact that you get joy out of it. brings me so much joy. Yo, I was coming out to uh, Redden Terminal uh, like last week. And it was just like this family walking by. I was this little ass kid. And the way they were, they weren't looking. I could have act like I didn't see them open the door and fuck that little kid up. And I almost did. I had to catch myself last minute, like, no, nah, chill, 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 because I could have got away with that joint. Like, oh shit, I'm so sorry. And I, I could have, oh, I could have got that kid good. Got it. That's on how to, you know what? Hey, man, <laughs> toughening them up. You got toughen these kids up, man. They're getting soft out here. You know what I'm saying? I did trip a kid before. See, didn't it feel good? It did. It felt real good. Oh, I will trip a kid. I will fight a kid over my oh, kid. What are you, what are you talking? Okay. <laughs> over my kid, yeah. Over my kid. That that's the only way. But other than no, that, I tripped the kid before. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna lie. It, it wasn't my proudest moment, but then again, it was because they fell and it was funny. But it wasn't, but they kept running back and forth. Like, what are you doing? Like, just stick your foot out real quick. Bam. Oh, <laughs> Now you know not to run. <laughs> you don't be running inside. Like, what is going on? <laughs> Especially at my job, okay? Like, you... People let kids go ape shit in restaurants. Like, no, we're not doing that. I, I'm going to trip you a little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> but it's up to you to not fall. Mm. Mm. I'm with you. Know? I'm with you. <laughs> no, all right. I'm just saying. Fuck these little niggas, man. Fuck them. Yeah, I mean, it's a good time, man. It's a good, good time. <laughs> I like them. I like seeing, and 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 don't get me started on people on bicycles, especially since y'all, y'all say y'all don't be downtown that much. Them people downtown on them bikes, them grown ups with their fucking helmets and shit, they swear they run the road. Like, when yeah, I they pull, do. I pull over in their little uh, bike lane, they keep giving me this. This is how white people do. They just, they do this with their hands and shit. I'd be like, yo, get a car like an adult, you bitch ass nigga. <laughs> 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 like, they're getting their exercise in, their cardio. The uh, thing is, they be having cars. They be having cars. It's just easier for them to bike to work, okay? Oh, fuck that. I don't ever want to bike to work. You're not fresh no more. Mm-mm. You look like a dickhead every time. What happens if it rains? Like, <laughs> if it snows, now you on a fucking bike. And a snowstorm. Like, I don't... I feel like they're overachievers, people that bike anywhere. Like, if you're not riding your bike around the block, you're biking somewhere. Like, I'm about to ride my bike, too. Like, bitch... Never mind, I can't say it because we laugh. But, yeah, like, don't... Don't but you think you're better than us because you bike? (laughs) And then, no, then it'd be the extra ones that take the wheel off. (laughs) 
<laughs> Yo, I was behind the motherfucker. I'm heading, I'm heading up like towards like downtown. I'm on 15th Street, leaving North Philly. I'm behind this motherfucker for like three, four blocks. They riding in the middle of the street with a bike. And I it took everything in me not to just tap that back wheel. I just wanted to just just tap that joint, watch them skid off real quick. And I'm like, this is gonna be a thing. They probably a temple student. But man, did I want to fucking just oh my God. They be holding it up. Mm -hmm. Who don't get no respect? Bike cops. Like if a bike cop ever try to pull me over, bitch, I'm I'm not. Like I would never stop for a bike cop. Like <laughs> hell no. Hell no. Hell no. Only thing only thing worse than a bike cop is a segue. Mm. When it's one of the segways and shit, the little segway scooters. I wish I know you mm -hmm. pull over for that, nigga. You go ahead, man. If I knock you over, <laughs> you cannot pull nobody over on a bike. Like if you have I ever heard somebody that said they got stopped by a bike cop, like nigga. <laughs> you yeah. was in a car and got like you wasn't on foot. You were in a car and got stopped by a bike cop. Bike cops don't get no respect. Um, university cops don't get no respect. Like no university try to pull me over. I ran random niggas. <laughs> I was shit faced that night too. I ran the niggas, man. Nobody fucking pulling over no university of pen cop, no scepter cop. Like, what my, do they do? They get you, what 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 are they pulling you over for? My guess is they pull you over and then they call it a real cop. And I ain't waiting for you to snitch on me, nigga. Nah. Right. So I gotta sit here and wait for a real cop to come. Nigga, please eat my dust. I am out. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you stupid. Watch this. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. I will hold you. Like, not to bring it back, but that was one of the weirdest things when I did loss prevention. It was like, we would take people to the back, and they would sit there with us until the cops came. I'm like, if I was you, I would try me. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so much I could do. I can't hit put you in a headlock. Like, I no, I'm, I'm taking you out at your knees, my man. Like, <laughs> no for the knees. That's all I know. Brandy said, Eagles, my children's socks. What the fuck? <laughs> That list is oh god. Mo said it's the Libras and it's cheese. Heart. <laughs> she said she fucking crying. <laughs> hey yo, Randy said she feels bad for laughing. Do you, Brandy? That's where <laughs> she draw the line. <laughs> <laughs> like that's that's your line. Okay. <laughs> no one's so bad. Jerry said Warren is a sick individual. Big Rob said he stepped away for a minute, y'all. But that City Line Avenue used to be, they used to call it, and now it's City Ave. Okay. Right. Can I Live said the last baby got lead poison. Oh, I don't <laughs> like the last one. I couldn't watch it. Not in slow motion. <laughs> that baby ate it. Pause. <laughs> mm. Randy also said that's the first going to wait. That first one going to I Yo, can't hold. the playground. Yeah, that looked <laughs> like the, the big slide at Smith Playground. Yeah, definitely. But I thought that was metal. That okay, was, thank you. Was, <laughs> that first one got to be Smith Playground. Yeah, okay, thank you. I, I, it was throwing me off with the going and got it. Got it. Thank you. Um, Mo says she's laughing so hard. Can I let her say he cool, but he got two more sets of teeth. <laughs> Randy said, Cheese, you going to hell in a gasoline hoodie? <laughs> <laughs> My gasoline draws a hoodie. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, shit. Yo, that's definitely right. That was my intrusive thoughts. I was definitely going to hurt that kid. Mm. He also said, I'm glad we keep those thoughts under wraps. Oh, Randy sweet. said, man, we had a work trip to a furniture convention down Spring Garden Street. I almost hit four bikers. I was so irked. They feel I, like they own, they own the street. I hate them so much. I hate them so much. Like, this is a street. Go find a bike trail, my nigga. Fuck out of here. Uh, what's and I live said, I agree. I can't picture B riding a bike to her next D appointment. First of all, if I got to ride a bike and he ain't coming to get me, we got a problem. <laughs> Yo, I picture you riding like the Wicked Witch. Remember when all the fucking shit was all the dust and shit and she was pedaling man fast? 
I'm sorry. Ain't that much day in the world for me to be on a bike. She would not be friends if she's pedaling to, to get dick. Okay. Oh, nigga. <laughs> like, with my overnight bag, can you imagine? <laughs> Bitch, like, this. <laughs> Bitch, my. Uh uh. <laughs> That's wild. Ain't that much dick in the world. Brandy said, bike cop pulled me over in front of my job and had to call back up because <laughs> I was like, it, I was like, if you don't get the fuck up out my face, you're not a real officer. <laughs> 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 I would never stop for a bike cop. And Jerry <laughs> said, nigga, we got pulled over by a pin cop before. Me, you, and two chicks. I remember that. Yeah. I remember that. Remember we finished the drinks? We That's how we had no respect for them niggas. They was back there running this shit. We kept finishing the drinks and shit in the fucking car. I remember that. Mm -hmm. I remember, uh, we ain't gonna say the names. I remember that. <laughs> oh, so I have a question for you fellas that's okay. in here. Um, so what are the phrases that men hate hearing from women? Oh, man. We need to talk. Why is right. it always the first one on the list? <laughs> because anytime somebody says we need to talk, it means they need to talk. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This I'm just hear your thoughts too. No, no. You want to hear? No. Something? no, no, I don't. You're right, but go ahead. Nah, man. Um, I'm irked. Oh, I hate that. I'm so irked. That's usually about to be like she gonna ask for money. Um, and. I don't know. There's a couple more. Trying to... My, me saying I'm so irked they me asking you for money. Not maybe not you. You know what no. I'm saying? But like sometimes that's typically what it is. Like I'm so irked, and it's like how this overtime didn't come through or something didn't get paid for. Or, you know what I'm saying? Uh, oh, that's why niggas ignore you when you say you irked. Yeah. I'm <laughs> irked. I'm having a great day. Now I gotta hear why you irked. You gonna fuck up my energy and my day and shit? Nah, man. Mm. Mm. Nobody hear that shit. Okay. Uh, mm. I don't know. I'll think of more. Um, I guess y'all can uh do y'all have any phrases y'all don't like hearing from dudes? Um uh, while come so no, not we come while they come so and show a law. Oh, I think you can't say that. Grand rising queen. <laughs> oh, grand rising. I don't like grand rising. I don't, grand, like I don't like what you doing. I don't. Um, <laughs> it was a bad night. <laughs> um, I had a lot on my mind. <laughs> uh, I, I feel like I'm gonna see what I could do. Should be one for y'all because that's what ooh. we like. we probably gonna bullshit you, but we don't want to, you know. I've never gotten that one, so I don't know about that. I don't one. really get that much that much either. I get that out all the time. Mm, I, I see what I can do. Ooh. No commitment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll never get that one. That's why yeah, that don't really resonate with me. Next time you ask me to come over there and change the battery and your uh, smoke alarm, I'm going to be like, I'm going to see what I can do. Mm. <laughs> well, um, I won't ask you in that way. I will, I will trick you. <laughs> <laughs> I can see that happening. And oh, and y'all missed a decent game night too. That's because y'all be. I told B, y'all be like, we having a party. I'll be like, when? Y'all be like, tonight. The fuck? It's I told him because they don't. Y'all shouldn't have a life outside of us. I didn't even get that. <laughs> what are you talking I, about? It was a lot. Of, it was a lot of uncharted territory too. I seen that Todd. He hit me up. He was like, "What's this mean?" I was like, "I don't. I don't know. I didn't get the text for some reason. It didn't come through for me." Hmm. Um, what else do I hate uh that men say? Um, I'll have it by Friday. Ooh. <laughs> I got you Friday. Just say you ain't got it. I guess that's along the lines of saying you see what you can do, but I'll have it by Friday. Don't don't have it by Friday. I don't get that one quite often either. I don't get that one either. Mm. Friday's payday. That's when you're gonna get it. That's what most niggas say. I get it to you by Friday. Okay. Got you on Friday when I get paid, nigga. Um, well, yeah, we have have no other ones. I don't what like. What you want to I, eat? 
Oh. What you want to eat? I don't like when a nigga asks me what I want to eat. Why? It's too many choices. Give me three. If you give me three, I can tell you what I want out the three. If you tell me what you, what you want, now I got to think. I don't know what I want. Like, you yeah, know, that's... now we arguing because I don't know what I want. Like, just give me three options. You can that's... go here, here, or here. Now, out of here, here, and here, I know what I want from here, here, and here. But if you just say what you want to eat. I agree. I agree. Here all night. Exactly. I, I limited the two options. I give y'all two options. I'm yes. okay. Right. No. Because once you start throwing stuff out, like you want Mexican, mm, I don't think I want Mexican tonight. You want, uh, I don't think I want, but I don't know what I want. So if you just say, listen, I'm about to go here, what you want from here, sometimes you got to take the lead. All right, cool. This is what I want from here. Mm -hmm. Easier yeah. on y'all. Don't ask me what I want to eat because I don't know what I want to eat. That's good shit. Nigga, stop asking. Don't ever ask that question. You're going to be, no. you're going to be. You're you setting gonna... yourself up. Like you're setting yourself up for that one. Like, Right, it's too many options. One of my friends, one of my friends, she literally would think and chew so she can kind of in her mind she like, and see how it would feel. Like I'm like, okay, y'all got a deeper. <laughs> Don't you? Kids is home. <laughs> mm, <the> kids home. <laughs> I ain't never got to ask that question. I guess because I've got kids, but um, niggas <laughs> ask you that your kids home. Hmm. <laughs> Now, I said before, don't, don't ask me if I'm free on a certain date because I, I want to know why before I commit to it. Don't, but that goes for anybody, male or female. Don't ask me if I'm free next Tuesday. I don't, I don't know why. Me and Cedar just had this conversation. Don't invite me nowhere until the day of. See, I'm obviously the opposite. I need a week. Or two I don't need a week. I need to know how I feel in that moment. Like, if you tell me something a month in advance, like, yo, this is happening. I might agree to it, but then it might be like by that time I don't feel like it. But I don't already, I don't already agree to it, so I can't really back out. I feel bad when I back out, so it'd be like just invite me that day or that week, maybe a couple days before. Don't invite me months in advance because I don't know how I'm going to feel that day. I can tell by see this face; she's in disagreement with you. She doesn't. <laughs> Not She's going. always in disagreement with me. Who cares? <laughs> Is this she gonna be like? And then you asked me last minute. Now I got to scramble to get some. Oh, I don't like no, that. No, you know what? No, no, no. Pause. Time out. Hold on. That that's only when you bitches want themes and colors and fabrics and shit like that. Don't invite me to no more theme, anything, any color, nothing. I was. I'm not coming. Barbecue <laughs> two weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> but y'all I got to cook shit that's a whole nother situation if I got to cook if I could just show up that's different but don't tell me what don't don't police my outfit I don't like that don't don't tell me you can only wear green only wear yellow only wear like bitch I'm wearing what I want to wear now now I got to scramble and try to figure out what I got to wear to appease you I don't like it y'all be having power ranger parties that's what I'm saying. Death to all them parties. I don't want to come. Like, don't tell me that I got to dress in a certain theme or a certain color or a certain. I, no, it's not for me. Pressure. That's too pressure. much. See, you get it. It's too much pressure. Now I got to go in my closet to see I'm, I'm a black person. I wear black. I wear black. Okay. That's what you all know. I wear black all day long. If it ain't black, I ain't going. Don't tell me I got to wear pink. Periwinkle. What the fuck is Perry? That is in the back. <laughs> Y'all bitches be stressing me out. I don't like it. Don't invite me. I'm not coming. If a nigga say periwinkle to me, I'm going to spit in his face. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you, you can be at my wedding, but you got to wear a periwinkle. <laughs> I feel like that's the only time when you could, if I'm in the wedding, is the only time you could tell me what color to wear. Other than that, I'm wearing what I want to wear, how I want to, don't, I don't want to participate. And then you know you got to wear it because when you take a picture and people post it on social media, they're like, oh, that bitch wasn't really invited. <laughs> she got the invite last minute. They really ain't want her there. Don't have me looking like I ain't want to be here. So just don't do a thing. Don't do a color. I don't care what you wear. I don't give a fuck. Just show up. All right. I can dig it. Not them. Not Cedar. We had a whole denim brunch, bitch. We did. We had a denim bowl. Okay. <laughs> She likes themes and colors and shit like that. I, I don't. Mm -hmm. See, the thing is, people like me and B, we need <laughs> either that make us do something fun. Because if not, we're going to wear black every day. 
kind of do our own thing. You know what I'm it's saying? Not fun. I was trying to have a cookout, cheese. I was trying to have a cookout. It was when good time. broke, it was I was good. trying to have her throw some 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 hot dogs, some chicken dogs, a little. Little turkey dog. Look, look, look. Now, now he on board. <laughs> I, I was trying to get us a cookout going. I'll get on the grill. Stay gotta, be, gotta be chicken dogs there though. Stay less. I, I know on. y'all lying. I know y'all fucking lying. Like I said, long as I ain't got to cook or prep or, or or prepare shit, I'm fine. I'll pull up. <laughs> Ask you for a little bit of potato salad. See, here we go. Now she wants potato salad. Now I don't want to play. I quit. Always want potato salad. <laughs> I don't even see the salad. Uh, it's always a little bit. It's always, can you give me a little bit? I just want a little. No, I don't want a little bit. <laughs> a little bit. A little bit. Mm-hmm. I don't like it. But um, so let's see what the comments said. <laughs> Jerry said, I'm pregnant. <laughs> Nigga, it's not mine. <laughs> The nigga still say that it's not mine. <laughs> no, that's that was his clip. That was his drawing of about shit he hear. He, he don't like to hear. Yeah, that. I know, but I'm asking, do niggas still throw that card? It's not mine. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. And I live said I need to go somewhere. Oh, that's my line. <laughs> oh God. That is mine. If 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 you like, she's not driving and you're the driver. Yeah. Oh, you're always the driver. Yeah. I don't, I, I, I don't care how you slice it. You're always the driver. I'm never driving. Like, I the only time that I'm driving is if you get too fucked up. And then I've got an attitude with that. But um, I'm never the driver. But it's different, though, because you can drive. It's different. You're with a woman that can't drive at all. So anytime she has to go somewhere, you got to get up and drive. Why like, can't you drive? A lot of women don't drive. I Especially, like, back in the days. My grandma may drive. Back in the days. We talk about 2024. Yeah. Some women don't drive. Mm. Even if I can drive, some I mean, it, I do drive, but I still be wanting you to take me places. Like, can you run me to the store real quick? No. <laughs> Why not? You want me to cook, nigga? Yeah, you better run me to the store. This <laughs> ass nigga. <laughs> if, it, if we going shopping, shopping, all right, maybe I'll go. But why I got to run to the store for a quick run? Like, no. I'm just- can you run me to the store? I'm not asking you to get out. Just run me to the store. I gotta stand up. I gotta stand up. I gotta put clothes on. Mm-mm. That's all. It's a bad time. Oh, we'll never be together. Mm-mm. Jerry said, and yes, I'm pregnant is a fade, a freeze. <laughs> um, Big Rob said, we need to talk. Always been on the top of the list. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, what if you got like a side? I need to talk and then he hits you with the oh what now? You ever hit me with the oh what now? That's it, nigga. That is it. You know why? Because we are knowing we know that we're gonna have to respond to something that's been cooking in your head all day that you done probably mauled over with a friend or two that done been refined into this, that, and the other thing. And the only thing we was thinking about was hmm, maybe pizza tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? And y'all fucking hit us with this whole conglomerate of ideas that should formed into this we need to talk and then again nobody want to hear that shit because like i said it's always some shit y'all want to talk about that's crazy can no. i live that <laughs> i say this one is it something you want to tell me you might oh. as well be honest i don't give a damn listen if a woman hit you with that <laughs> just be honest don't even lie even if she know or don't know just just be honest because right now my man she knows something She's on to something. So word to the wise. If she ever hits you, is it something you want to tell me? Just be honest. The jig is up. I'm all for that. I'm all for that. Like, niggas, stop lying. They, she gonna let you fuck anyway. Like, just stop. There's no use to lying. Like, she's she gonna let you fuck anyway. Mm, that's true. She, if she wants to. Trash. Will. The options are trash. No, no, some men can talk themselves out of the pussy. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm just saying, like, if you give you consistent with your truth, then you good. Yeah, you know I mean, if you if you start out lying and then you like, all right, all right, here come the truth. Nah, that ain't gonna cut it because you already you labeled as a yeah, lie. You gotta keep the lie alive, keep it going. Don't ever, don't ever let it go. If if that's the truth that you told me that was true, you better keep saying it. Cause if you ever break, my man, <laughs> don't break Eric. <laughs> you better not never not ever i'm just saying like but if i ever hit you with is this something you want to tell me i already know 
I done, and I already know more than you think that I know. So you better tell me your best, your best bet is to be honest. But at the same time, maybe y'all want to listen to me, niggas, because I'm too honest. So sometimes, like, I just be like, "Why you ain't answer the phone?" Because I ain't feel like hearing you talk to me. <laughs> like, it's not I'm like okay with I can't be mad at that. I get you. you know I mean, I've been watching TV. You want to tell me about today? I don't want that right now. And that's okay. All right. And yeah. exactly, I am okay with you telling me I didn't want to talk to you. All right. Well, shit. Call me when you want to talk. <laughs> uh, y'all gonna be like, well, I'm gonna find another nigga that wanna no, talk. No, it ain't. No, it's not. Because most of the time, <laughs> I don't want to be bothered either. So I can respect that. If it's a time where I don't want to be bothered, and I tell you I don't want to be bothered, and you can respect that, I'm in love. Like, I, I don't feel like it. Like, <laughs> I don't want to talk right now. I don't respect it. You have to respect people's boundaries, and that's a boundary. You don't want to talk to me right now? Call me when you do. Just don't go a week without calling me now. You go a week, go another week. But what I'm saying is now I got the now I know that I could just check on you periodically. You good? You all right? All right, cool. Now I'm about, you know, I'm I'm on my thing. Like, Perfect. don't not communicate yeah. that and then be acting weird. Yeah. That's the thing. A lot of niggas, man, and I know we're going off the tangent. I do want to hit that last video before we go. But a lot of niggas really catch themselves up in line because, like, I'm telling you, as I'm older now and my like my friends is older, like niggas would really lie and tell a chick that they got to work just because they tired of fucking and they want to go to sleep. You know what I'm saying? Like, because niggas don't know how to break out of being a whore. Like, if you still on whore time and you in your 40s and 50s, you still your mind is still moving that way, but your body, like, no, nah, got nothing. Mm -hmm. That's <laughs> why when I get older. I'm buying a couple of PlayStations. I don't need no nigga that need to take a nap. Tell me you're going to work to take a nap. <laughs> that's a little different. That's a little different. Like, what? You Yo, I, I, I think I, it makes more sense to me because niggas is at their peak here. Y'all at y'all peak here. Y'all need to be fucking younger niggas, man. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> yeah, I, I can't. Uh-uh. Mm-mm. I, I I I told you I had to work so I could take a nap. What? <laughs> hey, that's a little different. I don't know how I would take that. Niggas lie, man. Just they, niggas lie for different reasons now. Not the mm. fuck up, man. Just to get some rest. <laughs> I'm done. Mo said no, Cena. She also said, "Who puss is this?" Uh, she hates to be asked that. Uh, <laughs> and I live said, "Ask your friends for her her validation." Uh, uh, Oh yeah, ask your friend. Yeah, they get into arguments. You disrespectful. Ask your friends. Just don't bring my friends into this, man. They only like you because I'm around. <laughs> what the fuck, man? They were They're not your friends. I'm hanging with you, be you know what I mean? It's not your friend. Oh man, it's like a backup dancer trying to sing, man. But put the mic down, nigga. <laughs> Westside Sosa pulled up with yo y'all. Big Rob said, "Yo, see this? Did you just come at the religion?" <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> Definitely did. Oh, oh! Religion. Uh, I just don't like Insha Law. I is the religion is fine. I just don't like Insha Law. Don't God willing me nothing. Okay. That's that's Muslim. That's I, that's I'm gonna see what I can do in Muslim. <laughs> exactly. Do not <laughs> not in Muslim. I'm done. Randy <laughs> said, "Yep, Ninja X." Ask your son there. Nope, he's not there. The door unlocked. Oh. <laughs> I never people ask y'all sure that is your kids. It was like what? I don't know. And I, I, it's only bothersome because it's like it be niggas that's not even qualified. Like your dick don't match your personality. So why are you even asking me this? So niggas goes, oh. my dick don't match my personality. I mean I ask for pussy. Nah, you gonna say yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, no, but I feel like y'all need to know that. It is not gonna change nothing. It's not, but it, it's it, it may it, not change nothing, it, but it, it might change something. Be a little bit more humble. If your dick don't match your personality, be more humble. You should be a lot more humble. I mean, honestly, that coming from women is hilarious because <laughs> y'all are literally the most arrogant, arrogant species on the fucking planet. But okay, no, no, no. 
It's a oh. lot of niggas that lie about their dick abilities that ain't that ain't should be lying about dick ability. Like I've never told a man I was gonna ball him up. I've never, I've never said, oh, this is the best thing you'll ever have in your life. I mean, once you get it, you'll know. But I, I don't, I don't, I don't have to brag. I don't, yeah, not, not even men. On the other hand, oh, oh. <laughs> damn, <laughs> oh, everyone waits to out, girl, <laughs> girl. <laughs> Girl, he like he what? Two like, two <laughs> Why are you running? I'm not. <laughs> That's the lie. What you running for? I'm not. <laughs> you can add that to the list. I hate when they say that too. Mm. Running away from your weird ass. Get the you know yes. what? Get, get the hell up off of me. Get out of here. <clears throat> two stroke creeps. Ooh. Mm. What's like that? I, I could have had a V8, <laughs> nigga. I blinked and the shit was over. Like, oh, that's what happened. Oh, okay, that's what you said you was going to do. I feel like though, any nigga that do that from now on, I just don't. I block them immediately, cause right. I know you lying. Like, no, you're not. <laughs> no, you're not. That's not going to happen. Um, it's funny because I do have things to add, but I'm also like, should we move to the next drum? Because I can go. This is whole thing. <laughs> oh, all right. Well, hold on. Let me finish with the comments. Then, if she wants to move on, um, Mo said that <laughs> that be requiring me to go buy something, and I don't want to spend money. So, no, now I'm not coming. What's I said? Crack the fuck up. I'm not. Wait, crack the fuck up. Not really invited. Happened to me. I show up. No fit. No basket of goodies. Um, Randy said I feel like chicken dogs <laughs> may have feathers in the inside. <laughs> <laughs> so, y'all don't see the systematic bullying that she's doing. She's trying to ruin <laughs> chicken dogs. What the fuck is wrong with you? Yeah, it's systematic. Wes, I said, I love seafood pasta over potato salad. Yeah, it got good stuff in it. B potato. makes great potato salad and amazing seafood salad. Just um, as long as I don't have to cook, I'm coming. <laughs> I didn't hear that part. Y'all miss that. We could have a whole a all meat barbecue pause before cheese hit us with it. But yeah, we could have a whole meat barbecue. As long as I'm concerned, I don't want to have to cook. That's what niggas do. That's what niggas do. Get burgers, dogs, and wings, and we be good. No, we need a little that, that is a man barbecue. Like my brother had a barbecue not too long ago, a couple years ago, and it was all meat pause, not like that. But it was like, nigga, can I get a potato chip? <laughs> like, <laughs> These burgers and shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it was. Like. Um, B makes great seafood salad. Mm. I appreciate it. I love it, but I'm not doing it. <laughs> Randy said, "I know a nigga hate when chicks say your parole officer call." <laughs> oh, not your parole officer call. I don't oh, want to call your parole officer. Mm. I don't want to mess with no nigga who got a parole officer. Mm, I don't either. Not in this life. Not in this life. Um, what's I said, man? I need my PS5. Um, how old are you? You might be too old. <laughs> you might not go. <laughs> you might not call it. Age shame him. You want age shame him, man? Right there. That's no, crazy. I'm not. No, I'm not age shaming him for playing PlayStation Five. What I'm saying is, when I start buying PS5s, they gotta be at least twenty years younger. Okay. Mm. Because mm. I'm being in my 50s. So I got to be at least maybe 30 years younger because I'm going for the. Trying to get packed young, out. Young, 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 young. <laughs> I ain't going to want that old pussy, but all right. You lying. I know you lying. Not the hip. Yo. I know y'all gonna see these in the back of me after this, so just get your cups ready. But let me just say this, right? Niggas, have y'all ever <laughs> y'all remember the first time y'all was smashing the chick and she called for mid smash? Just for a split second, that pussy tightened up. It feel like a whole new pussy. Oh my god! I don't know if y'all know that, but that whole no, cold, we don't know that. Yo, in there, oh, I love a bitch with a cold. You get a bitch with a good <laughs> cough, you be like, I bless you. Do it again. <laughs> Wait, not your muscles contracting. Yeah, so. that's in the back. Yeah, like, 
Oh. I'm, I'm empty. I'm fresh out. They tighten not, up. Not the muscles contracting. I'm weak. Okay. I am not playing. That's I said, cracking the fuck up. Because what nigga going to say, yeah, girl, wait till you get this gummy bear. That's what you need to say. Just don't say nothing. <laughs> don't, say, don't say nothing. Just, just. Let it just come over and just be a bad performance. I, I'd rather you do that than you sit there and lie and carry on about what you're going to do, how you're going to do it, what's this going to be. Like, yeah, just, cool. just don't. Cool. Sean Stantall has pulled up. He said, I don't brag, but I can take a woman to Wee Wee World. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's up, my nigga? <laughs> <laughs> That's why I said you don't cook solid. Crack the fuck up. Um, I'm just not coming. <laughs> if I got to do anything, I just want to come with my plate. That's it. Wow. He said, oh, me, it's crack up. Sean said, I don't brag, but yeah, I, oh, I, that was the same one. My bad. Um, Brandy said, B, you too young to be on solid duty. <laughs> <laughs> Everything duty. Y'all don't understand with her is not a thing. Like <laughs> she comes up with it. Now she is a typical woman. Comes up with some shit in her head, and then she calls me to execute. Like <laughs> don't you have a barbecue Saturday? No. <laughs> oh, I don't like it here. <laughs> oh, I help. I participate. At least I offer the bottle stuff. <laughs> do- my cousin Chrissy is the same way. They're just they're, no, now yeah, they will bring it, but they ain't cooking, they ain't prepping, they ain't mm-mm-mm. they ain't I'll doing nothing. Company in the kitchen now, I will help. You know, I'm I, I can't make up the ideas ahead of ideas and execute. No, okay. She's a delegator. She tells you like you do this, you do that. You, I don't like that. I, I don't, I don't like that. And it all What's comes my- together. I'm, it's the oldest child syndrome. It is. <laughs> What's I said, crack the fuck up. Damn, I'm 27. You'll be too old by the time I'm 50. Can I live? <laughs> Before we leave, let me see that shoe again. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I want the shoe. Sorry, cheese. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm weak, yo. <laughs> Go ahead to add some sound effects behind it next. Oh, <laughs> Ow. It's funny just to look at, like, geez, you. <laughs> Let's be clear. First of all, I thought he was saying that that was one of the phrases he didn't like to hear from a woman. That's what's crazy. Second of all, <laughs> you left that up there way too long. Like, why? Is- they, everybody couldn't see it. I needed everybody to stop to see in case they was look, just listening. You uh, got to see what the <laughs> That's only crazy. They requested it, so I let them have it. What's I said? I don't know, cheese. I love my pussy age and drama free. <laughs> and Randy said, cheese be in the house hot in the cold syrup before sex. No <laughs> 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 said, not the sick bitches coochie. I'm done. <laughs> Randy yeah. said, see to the Donald Trump of your friend group. She is. She's annoying. <laughs> gotta ask that song like I feel like Buster Lee. <laughs> oh man. Sorry, Jeez. <laughs> hey, I ain't mad at all. That's why I took the picture. <laughs> that's why I said this the second shoe you done blitz. No, that's the same one. <laughs> same one, man. Keep, keep it around here when we need to laugh. Same one. All right, so go ahead, Cheese, where you wanted to go. I had to get the comments out the way. I appreciate you doing an excellent job, per usual. Um, last drum, man. I don't know if y'all heard about this. Uh, this run a video. It's All missing. right. Stabbing her boyfriend to death only gets a slap on the wrist. She faced the possibility of life in prison for stabbing him 108 times. But the judge ruling that she had no self-control while in a cannabis-induced psychosis. Todd Pyro is live in the studio with the shocking details. Todd. This is a head-scratcher, Ainsley. The judge is sentencing 32-year-old Bryn Speecher to 100 hours of community service, two years probation, 
And the big one, no jail time. She broke down in tears after a jury convicted her of involuntary manslaughter last month. California judge claims she had no control over her actions after stabbing the victim, Chad Omila, 108 times. Psychiatrists in the case claim the incident was, quote, 100 percent caused by cannabis induced psychosis after the 32 year old took two hits from the victim's bong. She expressed remorse during closing statements, saying, quote, I wish I had known more about the dangers of marijuana. Had I known, I would never have smoked it that night or at all. Omalia's family shocked and angry over the sentencing yesterday. The victim's father accusing the judge of being biased, saying, quote, he just gave everyone in the state of California who smokes marijuana a license to kill someone. The woman and the victim were dating for only a few weeks before his death in 2018. Not only dating for a couple weeks. <laughs> what yeah. is privilege going, is going on here? My thing is this. <clears throat> Bitch, you done smoked my weed and you killed me. <laughs> we got a problem. <laughs> You done took a hit of my shit and then turned around and killed me. Oh, no. Mm. She should have went for one more time, she so it could have been my birthday. But, um... Why'd your mind go there? Could be selfish. <laughs> I didn't even hear that part. I didn't even... <laughs> I didn't even hear that, but <laughs> a tiny bit, a tiny bit. But no, it's uh, what in the white thing is about Cedar. Everything. Um, but what in the white privilege? Like we psychosis, marijuana psychosis now. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. There is a thing. I I, I didn't got too high before. And well, me and my sister had got too high before, and we was in a whole nother dimension. I'm not going to lie about that. I'm not going to get too much into that story, but um, it's a thing. Like we took an edible, and that edible had us in the whole. <laughs> I've I never I, I've experienced that, but come on, like I don't believe that someone of color would would have gotten the same sentence. A white women can get away with anything. That's proof. Mo most untouchable species known to me. Yeah, y'all know they are the victims of everything. All they have to do is say anything, and everything is true. So, yeah, that, that, to that was very disturbing. A hundred and eight times. Do y'all realize how much that is? Like, you know, this bitch stopped and got water. You know what I'm saying? How the fuck you in a paranoid psychosis? We had to take. He was in a psychosis. What did he say? That's my thing. Did he say anything that made you snap? Like, she said that she found out he was cheating, right? That's what they said. I didn't hear that part. That's what they said. Oh, you heard that in your head. <laughs> <laughs> Ow. <laughs> she was trying to justify it. Try to get out. <laughs> that's wild. I don't. I don't know. Like you had to say. Like I. I feel like did he say anything that triggered you? Not saying it was right. I'm not saying that. Yeah. But. What I'm saying is, like, what was it that made you, sn like, something had to make you snap? Like, mm, she should have been on snapped. Mm -hmm. 108 times. That's crazy. Like, where'd you get the knife? Like, did you have to get up the walk to get the knife? Did this happen in the kitchen? Like, I need more of a backstory for me to be able to really say, like, because, bitch, if you got up and walked to the kitchen and got a knife and came back and said, that's premeditated. <laughs> That, that is premeditated all day long. Now, if the knife was just sitting there, he said some shit, you trip, okay, you stab at him. Maybe. But when I'm high, I don't want to move. Like, yeah. Who feels like stabbing? <laughs> that's a lot. Like, that's a lot of action to, to go through. Like, and then it's a man. Like, what if he seen the, the seen the knife? Now you got to fight and tussle. All, like, that's too much. You're blowing my heart. I ain't got that kind of time. Oh, uh, this is gonna be doing a lot of stabbing in California. Is gonna take a couple hits of the weed, stabby stab. Is it bad that I kind of want to sample it? <laughs> <laughs> I do it by myself though. <laughs> I'm yeah. going to jail. I'm too cute to go to jail. I'm not going to jail. But um. I do kind of want to see what that weed was in. <laughs> if we got stabbing niggas, I want in. <laughs> no, I'm not, I know I'm not the only one. 
I don't want to be aggressive though. I will hope it has like the adverse effect. Like I don't want to be like mad aggressive. I want to be like so high, like I could barely remember like who I am. Like, remember that party I went to that I was high. I I would like to be like that, like stuck. <laughs> I need to be like that, but I think maybe that we'd have had me like that. Like, yeah, I don't want to be aggressive. I don't, I don't want to smoke and then have a whole bunch of energy to to be doing evil shit. If I'm going to smoke, I want to be able to clean up and one fell swoop. Like, Did it? Like, yeah, give me the weed that makes you want to clean. That's a good time. Like, give me that kind of weed. They got <laughs> and clean your whole damn house. Yeah. And then I'm like, and then I'm intensifying my high with the cleaning supplies. Like that, that's the kind of high that I want. I don't want that other shit. <laughs> Give me some weed that makes me productive, not killing productive, but <laughs> productive. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what's some dangerous shit? Some bleach and ammonia. <laughs> Yeah, that's crazy. You gonna pass the fuck out. <laughs> I'm gonna be higher than a motherfucker. <laughs> Bitch, open the window. Like, you about to kill yourself there. Be higher than a motherfucker. <laughs> I don't like I don't like that. I don't I don't like that. Um oh shit, hold on. I gotta go back up. <laughs> so Brandy said 108 times. What kind of weed was that picture? <laughs> Uh, she might have had a uh, might have had a flashback. I'm, I'm just saying. Mo said, "White privilege, evil face, evil face, evil face, evil face." Mm-hmm. <laughs> I had to read the evil faces. Um, Randy said, "Never got high and stabbed anyone. Me either. I just got high and forgot shit. Like I don't get high. To, like I don't remember. Like uh, I forgot you stabbed the nigga though. Hmm. I don't think I'm that psychotic." I don't know. I don't know now. I don't know. Uh, Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Big Ross said she got away with that bullshit defense and they let it happen. Facts. Mo mm-hmm. said, and that was a Libra. <laughs> Thought Cita. <laughs> That's mm-hmm. one more time and it would have been your birthday. That is crazy. One more time. <laughs> mm-hmm. Not to make it even, but to be your birthday. That's wild. What side said cracking the fuck up? She hit the crack or PCP weed. Keep you from killing a nigga. Mm-hmm. Um, Big Rob said, ain't nobody killing nobody after having weed. Fuck out of here. She's she's a fucking killer. That's all. Yeah. Um, now she's a killer. <laughs> <laughs> Mo said she's a low-key serial killer. What side said 108 times. Goddamn, she stepped to hit the blunt. <laughs> she stopped to hit the blood <laughs> uh, what if she continued smoking it after he died that's crazy that's not funny he, a man lost his life oh, man. can oh. I live say wow ladies really cheating does not equal death no says who it does not who said that death to this relationship but okay who yeah. said that the rest death, we, equals death we chose a different box a slow, painful, gruesome one. Mm-hmm. Y'all rather do that than be more fun. Like, that's what's crazy. If y'all would just, like, be more fun. Then... I'm a great time. I'm an amazing time. I don't know I... what he's talking about. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, not just y'all. I feel like I just said I can tell I'm drunk. We got to wrap this up. But I can tell <laughs> it's not just y'all. I'm just saying y'all don't deal with women. We deal with women. They be boring as shit. Yeah, Why do you feel like men are the most exciting creatures in the world? We have a good time together, man. We have a good time together, man. And y'all have a good time. We don't hang. Because y'all know, we, I mean, we all hang, we all hang with niggas. Don't y'all you typically have a good time? I have a good time by myself. I'm saying, but like, if you chill with your men friends and they niggas is talking shit, it's usually a good time. It's usually a funny yeah, time. But I have a good time with my girlfriends just as well. All right, I hear you. But you you're... hang out with us enough to know that we are a good fucking time. See, you know what y'all do is when I say it, y'all take it as just how y'all are. Y'all got to think of other women. So you now, can't take it as just how you and your niggas are. Men are boring. I'm so sure. I'm so sure. I'm so sure. Especially <laughs> you trying to peddle a dictate to you. I'm sure it's a lot of weird ass niggas 
that we got nothing good to say. I totally understand that. But I'm just saying on the opposite side, same thing. Men, men in their routines. Uh, um, I, anywho. Heaven forbid. God forbid. <laughs> no, a rich in your day. Now yeah. your whole week is fucked up. Like, fuck up my routine. <laughs> Don't fuck up my routine. <laughs> So who's boring? The whole fucking state property was fucked up when his Tuesday bitch wanted his Wednesday bitch slot. There we go. He ain't know what to do with his life. <laughs> Men are not the most exciting creatures in the world. Like we really are. You really not. We I have, don't tell you that. There's only men and women. I mean, unless you're talking about animals and shit. And you gotta figure we the niggas that usually start shit like. You know what I mean? From sports to the first motherfucker to jump out of a plane, I assure you wasn't a woman. Unless it was Amelia Earhart and he just never found her. Let us go to the, the airport. I mean, uh, the airport. Y'all always trying to hold us back. Y'all not fun. See? <laughs> <laughs> All the fun shit that, w that you would consider fun for a woman to do, we weren't allowed to do. Y'all too are fun. But overall... I'm fucking right. I tell you that all day. <laughs> <laughs> Do a great time, you and Cedar, both of y'all, great time. What I'm saying is overall arching. It just should be boring. Like, that's why I always say I hate the fucking uh, initial talking stage. Like, what you do today? What you do today? How was work? How was work? be boring because y'all don't want to do nothing. Y'all don't want to go outside your routine. I'm willing to go outside my routine. That's the thing. Like I said, you need friends like Cedar to pull you outside your routine. You know what I mean? I like people that I do don't that. like that, though. <laughs> I low-key don't like it. Yeah. I fight every step of the way. But outside the bed, <laughs> y'all don't want to be outside y'all routine. Like, y'all don't like to do nothing new. Y'all don't like to experience nothing new. Y'all, um, no, no shade to see that. But y'all like to eat the same shit over and over. Y'all want to do the same shit over and over. Like, Okay, yes, I like this place, but we ain't got to go here all the time. Let's try something different. And then you got to argue with me because I want to do something different. Like, why you always want to do something? Because why you don't want to do nothing? Like, I don't understand. Men are creatures are habit. And that habit and trying to get them out of that habit and that routine is it's not the best thing in the world. Like, you're not the most exciting thing ever. No, I get that. I definitely get that. Um but like I said, it goes both ways. Uh, like as far as I know, one thing like, like I said, I, a one female friend of mine, she just like that's my homie. But she always has these great fucking ideas of fucking dates and shit to do, and it lets me know I don't have these ideas. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'll probably steal an idea from somebody else and be like, oh yeah, we should go here. But you know, there's a weakness. Every now you motherfucker got a weakness. But at the end of the day, like how you said that that ain't you. I can say that ain't me. I'm willing to open myself up to things. But yeah, I understand. There's niggas that's just like, I'm not doing the shit. I'm stuck with what I'm stuck with. And this is what it is. And the niggas... not worried about what the next nigga's thinking about y'all. Hmm? Oh, no. Yeah, that's weird. So that's, you are... <laughs> like, I won't do that. What if somebody see me? See you having fun? Okay. Because you can't be out here frolicking, man. When you're from Philly, you can't be out here seeing frolicking. Right, like y'all can't be ticklish, but we go. <laughs> nah, man, you can't see a nigga on a picnic. Like, I mean, imagine you had beef for the nigga you see on a picnic. Uh. Who is these people? Like, why do you think out of nowhere this one particular day we go on a picnic? You go see a nigga. <laughs> oh, this nigga was on a picnic. He gonna, he gonna catch you. He gonna catch you flopping the blanket. So she go flop. You blank me. He was he he about to have a picnic his, himself. Oh. Exactly. Like, what are we talking oh. about? Ah, uh, man. So as you see that basket, you you dead in the hood. As soon as you see that they, basket. That's why, yeah. that's why men are boring. That's Move why. Because you're worried on. about too much of people, what they think, and motherfuckers don't even care about you. Like, no, nobody care. Like, uh, at this big grown age, nobody cares what you're doing. And if you have ops at this big grown age, you need to I can't say those words, but titties in the back. <laughs> titties in the back, man. I feel like this is a good place to wrap it up. Unless All right, so Keith yeah. said um, she wants it now. Can I live? Said B, you go ahead and smoke that ish five minutes later. <laughs> and y'all look at me riding a bike down Fourth Street. You'll never catch me riding a bike. 
<laughs> That's the one thing you will never catch. Me riding a fucking bike. <laughs> Draw the line here. Big Rob said, y'all see the way that bitch face look. He said, the crazy part is the force to stab and pull it out and repeat is insane. Yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty sure she probably cut herself a couple times. Mm. Yeah. Um, what's I said? Cracking the fuck up? She's as wild. Ladies, y'all not fun. I need that on a shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Big Rob said, yo, brother, bring him to Fair Hill Street on a sunny day. He also Ooh. said they will think different. I've hung out with y'all. I'm not saying y'all are boring. I mean, I've hung out with y'all. Like, I fit right in. But that's me all day long. So it's just not just, I'm a fucking riot. Like, I'm a good fucking time. I don't give a damn what nobody's saying. <laughs> like, <laughs> I enjoy myself. <laughs> no pun intended. But I enjoy myself. I don't need a good time. He said facts me, yes. She also said shit. He there too. Cause he know we are a good time. Mo said cheese. This is why you can't be out frolicking in Philly. <laughs> you gotta go out to Sydney to frolic with bitches. Duh. <laughs> oh, we gotta go out to the city to have a picnic. All right. <laughs> What's up, said? We doing an after show. I'm off tonight. Crack the fuck up. Oh. We doing no, after show. I'm not doing the after show. After show, we 37 minutes after the hour, man. This is after oh, show. yeah, this is the after show. How about <laughs> that? But all right, so I think we covered everything tonight, did we? Did we not? Everybody got everything off their chest. Speak now if ever hold your peace. If not, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Oh, yeah, she maybe you should pull up tomorrow. I don't know. I'm going to definitely catch us tomorrow night or for a play with me. We will be live tomorrow. Sorry, I had a family um, thing last Thursday. But we will be live tomorrow night at 9 p.m. Me and oh. King Peter. What you said? It was penis, y'all. Just don't let it tell you it was family. It was, it was a penis. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't penis. And I don't even think I got penis afterwards. It was, <laughs> I can't remember. I don't think I did. But it was really a family thing. I wouldn't cancel my show for penis. I don't have to. I can pull up later. But anyway. Uh, <laughs> you bite. You can pedal up. You can pedal up. <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, yeah, make sure you guys uh, check us out here, same place, same time next week. Thanks for all of the love, all of the comments, likes, and shares. We appreciate you guys more than you know. And yeah, check me and see the out tomorrow night with Four Play with P live at 9 p.m. So yeah, it's time that we get out of here. Um, love you guys. Bye.